If you like the video, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Hey guys, welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking, where we bring you the inside tips on making great digital videos and films. I'm going to assume you have maybe a little bit of free time around now. A little bit more free time, let's just put it that way. Has this ever happened to you? Okay, I'm gonna up my game. I'm gonna learn After Effects. I have no idea what I'm doing. Exactly. I'm going to give a short lesson about gently introducing you to an After Effects workflow that might work, that might help you to uh, inspire you to learn a little bit more about After Effects. It's a huge program. It's, a, it's an amazing compositor, and it could be scary to some premier, premier editors, okay? So stick with me. I wanna show you the introduction that I wish I had in doing this. Okay, so we're gonna look at just a small project. We're gonna do a very simple couple of things to show you how you can incorporate After Effects into your editing workflow. This is not an After Effects tutorial. I must say that. I will leave links in the description below for some excellent tutorials, some paid and some free, that I actually took myself, and it helped me a lot in using After Effects with Premiere Pro. So let's say, for example, you have a video that you're editing, right? And this is a clip from an uh, old serial commercial we, we did with our favorite person in the world, Courtney. And uh, here she is. And this is the video that I want to use, okay? It could be a video of whatever. Um, now, normally what I can do is I can go to my, um, I'm going to window and turn on my essential graphics, okay? And then I'm going to edit. Let's see, let's go to edit. And let's just type, um, let's do, um, serial is great. Oops, serial is great. Okay, and there we go. And I can obviously change the style. So let's do something that's a little thicker. I don't care. Let's use this ultra, which is ridiculous, right? Serial is great. Good. We have a we have we have a title. Great. Now the thing about this title is it's kind of static, and without plugins or a, a pretty good idea of how to use keyframes or or whatever, it's hard to animate this. It's hard to make this a little more alive. I know you can do it. I've done it in Premiere, and I'm going to show you how you can introduce something like this in After Effects and start to really make things liven up. So we're gonna do the same text in After Effects. So here's an idea that uh, I would like to show you. Let's say I create, um, I'm just gonna create a little segment of this. So I'm gonna hit Command K to cut at the timeline and then Command K here. I'm just gonna take a segment. So this little segment here doesn't matter, I'm just gonna use it. Now I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm gonna duplicate it, okay? So I have another copy of it above itself, all right? We're gonna right click this and we're gonna to go to replace with After Effects composition, boom. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna load After Effects. And since this is the first, since After Effects isn't loaded yet, it's going to ask us, okay, what do you want to name this? So what I will normally do is, so here we are in After Effects, and now it says, it pops up, okay, what's the name of this project? Because it just started a brand new project for us. I'll usually go into the folder that I started my Premiere project in, and that'll be here. And I have, I created this from a template, but I have a folder called AFX here. And then in there is an empty folder called projects. And I'm going to save it in there. And I'm going to call it, you know, I don't know, serial. Hit enter. Now this project lives kind of with this Premiere Pro 
project. So this, this After Effects project lives with this Premiere Pro project. And as you can see, we have the video, the clip that we selected, right? If I show you in Premiere, this is the clip we selected. The clip shows up in After Effects in a nice, beautiful new composition, okay? Now, one thing you need to know about After Effects is it's basically a timeline, okay? But it's laid out a little differently where, uh, because you're gonna be using multiples of multiples of, of uh, clips on that timeline or shapes or all kinds of different things. You're, it's a compositor now. It could do editing, but I find that Premiere is stronger for editing, right? After Effects more strong for compositing. So, so first things first, uh, I'm going to um, make this, if I go down to this guy right here, I'm gonna make this fit uh, to the screen. Okay, that's what that little option does. Okay, and let's add some text. Let's add some text. So we're gonna click on our text tool, our horizontal type tool. We're gonna click somewhere on the screen. As you can see, it created a new empty text layer for us. Okay, and I'm gonna type, whoops, oh, I went, went too far, oh, fit, okay. <laughs> and we're gonna type, serial is great. And as you can see, it used the last, it used the last um, text style that I had in here before. But if I, using the text tool, if I highlight this guy, right, I could change the, change it. So let's change it to, I don't know, something cool, Roboto Black, okay? And I also have this little guy here. This is the all caps. Um, if you don't see that your, if your character window didn't come up, you can go to window and go to uh, character right here and make sure that's checked on, okay? And once that's checked on, you can find the location uh, where character shows up, okay? But under character, I see, I have my different text styles, okay? Under character is where my different text styles are. And I can change that. So I change it to Roboto Black. And this little guy here means it's all caps. So I'm gonna turn that off so that I actually get a real, some case, you know, case specific kind of stuff. All right, serial is great. That's it. That's really all I want to show you. And now instead of creating that text in Premiere, I created it in After Effects. And if I go back over to Premiere, now I haven't saved anything yet. Nothing is saved. As you can see on this frame, serial is great. Now, why do you ask? Should I do it that way? It seemed like a lot of work. It seemed like you're loading an extra program. You could do it in Premiere. But now that text is pretty flexible for me to do some other things. Now, notice that copy that I made, that copy turned pink and it's, a, it's an AEP, so it's dynamically linked to After Effects. It created a, a dynamic link. And that's one of the really strong features of the Adobe Suite is it can, you can add dynamic link all over the place. You can dynamic link from Audition to Premiere. You can add dynamic link from Premiere to After Effects and so on and so on, okay? And what that means is any change that I make, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Any change that I make in here, Serial is great to Serial is awesome shows up immediately, boom, in Premiere, okay? So that's cool. The reason why I made a segment is so that wouldn't, I wouldn't bring the whole thing in, but this is, this is kind of the location where I want to do this, okay? Now, you can get into the weeds about, you know, kerning and all that stuff, you can do all that stuff, but I want to show you one more thing that's really cool, a type-in effect. A lot of people make, maybe like to show the text come in one at a time. Well, here's how easy it is to do that in After Effects. So now we have our text here, okay? And there's the, there are these little carrots here that you can twiddle down and you can see text under there and under transform, everybody gets a free transform. Just like in Premiere where you always get a free transform, uh, you know, plugin, you'll get a free transform here, which is anchor, anchor point, position, scale, rotation. Once again, all these things may be out of the scope of this tutorial, I just wanna show you where things kind of are so you can start to discover on your own. Um, I want to go to 
effects and presets, which is up here, and then animation presets. Now this, this comes with Premiere, I mean with After Effects, so don't worry about, I didn't buy anything to do this. And let's go to text right here. And let's go to animate in right there. And there's something in here called typewriter. Typewriter. So if I drag this effect to my text line, it adds an animator under text. As you can see, it just added that animator, animator one. And now we have this thing called range selector. And if I twiddle that down, you see start and end. Now notice, watch what happens. Okay. C-E-R-E-A-L-I-S-A-W-E-S-O-M-E. -E -E -E. And notice it created these, these are called key keyframes, which you've probably seen in Premiere. Created these two keyframes on my timeline under here. If I drag this end keyframe closer to the beginning keyframe, it'll type faster. And if I drag it all the way out, it'll type much slower. All right. And this, this is some of the power of using After Effects in Premiere. I almost got that for totally free. I used to teach, I, I would teach tutorials on how to do a type on effect in Premiere. It takes a really long time. This is so much faster, okay? And if I drag this, I can, I can notice I can highlight both keyframes and I can move them to the beginning of here, you know, so that they come in immediately. Serial is awesome. Or I can drag them. Now this represents the whole line of footage. I can drag them down here so they don't come in until much later. Serial is awesome. And if we switch back over to Premiere, watch this. Serial is awesome. There's one more thing I do want to show you, actually. Uh, and this will hopefully show you how cool Premiere is and how worth it it is to use your free time that you might have a little extra of in the house to learn how to use Premiere and After Effects together. I'll show you one more thing. Um, let's go to another section of the video. And this time, I'm going to create a new, so I'm going to come over to my bin here, go new item, and adjustment layer. Okay. And cool, create my new adjustment layer. And you've probably done this before, where you create an adjustment layer to do color correction and stuff like that. Well, I'm going to create an adjustment layer to put an After Effects thing on. Okay. So this adjustment layer now represents the moment in time where I want this thing to happen. And if I right click on adjustment layer and say replace with After Effects composition, since I still have After Effects open, when I right click this and hit go, it brings this new composition into After Effects that's already loaded. So that's really important to know. If, it, if you have a project open, it will open the new stuff in the same project, which is terrific because I want every After Effects composition to be associated with this Premiere Pro project. Okay, and once again, you know, I don't want to go too far into the weeds, but if I go right click, um, new, let's do, I don't know, shape layer. Okay, and then I come up here and this is my rectangle tool or whatever. Okay, if I hold this down and I go star tool, and then I double click it, boom, I got a star that fills the frame. Okay, and once again, you have this here, a shape layer, right? I twiddle it down, contents, one poly star, and then I can set the fill, okay, right there, <laughs> that's huge. I can set the fill to like red, hit okay, and when I switch back over to Premiere, boom, giant poly star. And now this is free to go anywhere, right? This will, since this is uh, a tr an, this since this is an adjustment layer, it's free to live anywhere I want. So I can drag it around. I can even get super lazy and animate this in. Okay, if I go to effects, go to some of my favorite effects. I have an impact spin. If I put impact spin on the beginning and the end of this, it will impact spin in and out. 
I can kind of cheat. But the point is, these are both dynamically linked to an After Effects project. And here's where I want you to go off on your own and discover. Uh, like I said, I'm leaving links in the description for some After Effects tutorials. Um, some are paid, some are free. Uh, I got to give a shout out to Surface Studio, who is an amazing After Effects artist, and he does a ton of tutorials on, for free on YouTube. Amazing uh, creator and amazing teacher. So I really highly suggest you check that out. I'll try and leave a couple of other examples, but um, also don't forget to save, right? If, I, if I'm here in After Effects, uh, I'm going to hit Control S and just make sure I save it. Okay. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this makes you, uh, inspires you to go and start to really learn After Effects and really use it in your Premiere Pro projects. Check out PullMyFocus.tv for all our companion articles um, to these videos and start using your free time to learn some new stuff. Thanks guys. <laughs>